For this week's review vlog, I'm going to be talking about the film Hedwig and the Angry Inch, and it is a musical comedy drama film that was directed by John Cameron Mitchell, who actually played Hedwig as the main character, and he is uh, from Ber East Berlin, and he was born a transgender, and then throughout his life, his he met this man who proposed to him. It wasn't very clear whether Hedwig actually wanted to get married. That part wasn't very clear, but they did get married, but they're, for them to be uh, married, it had to be proven that it was a male and female relationship. So basically Luther, this male who kind of coerced him into marriage along with his mother, along with Hedwig's mother, um, kind of forced him to get a sex change. I don't really think that that's what he wanted, but I think that he realized that in order to get out of the country, that's what he needed to do. Um, so that part, that part was probably the saddest part in my opinion of the film. Um, cause I just thought that that was, I mean, it was sad, but it was unfair because I mean, he knew that he, it was for his freedom, but on the other hand, I feel like his mother did not care about him the entire time. She was um, abusive and just treated him like nothing, which I kind of interpreted Hedwig's dad leaving as him harassing Hedwig. Um, that part wasn't all, was also not clear. There's a few points in the plot that were not very clear. There's a few holes just with how Hedwig was brought up and how his entire life kind of tied together it was it there his life was told within flashbacks and they were all out of order they were not in chronological order so that also made it confusing um but overall I the message kind of personally to me was kind of lost I do understand that it was like a journey of this transgender person and at the end finding out that they take off their transgender like the wig and all of the performance makeup and everything on stage and kind of giving it up in a sense but I think that that was also kind of in Hedwig's mind I don't think that that was actually something that was happening I think that was him just imagining that he wanted to do that because in the end, he kind of, it was like a dreamlike scene where everyone was wearing white and no one was speaking. And it was, it was very strange, very confusing. And then in the end, the last shot was, I thought it was a great shot with just this one long silent shot of Hedwig walking into the city in this complete darkness in an alleyway. And he wasn't, wearing any clothes but because on stage he had taken everything off so I don't know if that was exactly if that actually happened because the last scene of him walking away naked in the city kind of seemed real but the scene before that when he took everything off on stage seemed not so real so that part was also a little confusing on my part um but overall I did enjoy it I was a bit skeptical in the beginning and that was because all the flashbacks were confusing me. But once that, once I saw the story of Hedwig and Tommy come together, that sort of made sense to me. And I kind of got interested in the middle. It took me a long time to kind of get interested and understand fully what was going on in the movie when Tommy came in. Because Tommy, I thought, wasn't a real character because he was not shown on screen for the first about, like... 45 minutes of the film which is a pretty big chunk of the beginning and they kept talking about him and you saw pictures but he wasn't really in the movie and I thought that Hedwig had just imagined this person and a fake lawsuit I, that part I was that part wasn't also clear a lot of things weren't really clear in this movie for me but I think I understood it once the love story between Hedwig, Hedwig and Tommy kind of got explained. Um, another thing I think pointed out to point out is that Tommy was a lot younger than Hedwig. I, they never said their exact age, but I don't think that it was legal because Tommy looked very young and I think Hedwig was babysitting him in the beginning because Hedwig was a nanny and kind of showed their 
like growing relationship, that's where I got interested. That was personally my one of the parts that I actually enjoyed about it. But another part that I actually did like was the one song Origin of Love when Hedwig is singing about um, mythical creatures and the gods creating uh, Adam and Eve and how mm. these creatures were kind of created as these kind of just globs of a being with a, multiple arms and legs and then they being split by the gods because the gods didn't like how much power they had and then splitting them again and I think that 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 part was very interesting and one of the parts that I actually really liked was the animation that was put together with the songs as Hedwig was singing they had an animation going with it and it was very it wasn't it wasn't like top scale animation but it was interesting because it was drawings and it just it looked like very minuscule illustrations and they weren't like some grand artist drew like had drawn them but it was very interesting the way they animated it with the song and i really liked that part and at first I was a little iffy about the animation, but in the end I think it tied together very well with the whole metaphors while T Hedwig was singing the Origin of Love song and how the like the characters that were in the illustrations symbolized his life and his journey throughout his life. That I think came a little bit too late in the film. I think they needed to add that more in the beginning because it would have made more sense because you kind of learn how he grew up. And um, I think that that was one of the things that if I could change anything about the film, I think they should have added a little bit more about how he grew up in the very beginning. It would have cleared things up a, a lot, actually. And I think that the relationship with Tommy and Hegway didn't have a cl the closure that I kind of wanted it to have. I thought that Tommy would have learned to treat Hedwig a little bit better when they got in the car accident and he just kind of pretended that he didn't know Hedwig at all which kind of was terrible but I guess in the show business and how famous he was I I sort of expected that too but overall I did like the animation and some of the cuts some of the transitions were very interesting and also a lot of the the set design I thought was actually really good the one scene that um I forget the name of the song but where Hedwig is singing about the wigs and they're all wearing white and um all different kinds of wigs Hedwig and the band and the set the stage that they're playing on is in the trailer where Hedwig grew up but it's changed into this whole interesting like colorful apartment stage like uh, set which I really enjoyed too so a lot of the set design and plus the costume design was also really cool all of Hedwig's outfits were pretty great as well yeah overall I was a little skeptical in the beginning but I kind of got I got I got interested more throughout it and overall I think I enjoyed it